Alright, we're back in the garage. Uh, today we are going to adjust the front coilovers because it needs to be lower. The rears are good. I think I can get like maybe one, maybe two fingers in there. But the fronts are like three easy. So we're going to drop that about an inch. Now that I think about it, I forgot my tape measure, but you know what? I have other ways of measuring things. Um, and then I have this list here of all the things that I need. So we're going to go through the list, make sure we have everything. All right, first up, socket set. Yup, we got that. Wrenches. Shiny new wrenches, very nice. Mallet. We got a mallet. Spanner wrench. Ah, yes, very important. Got that. Breaker bar. Breaker bar, yep. Got our breaker bar. We got our torque wrench. We got our lug nut keys. Where did they go? Lug nut keys. Some WD-40. And our infamous jack stands. Cool. So we got everything. Um, let's get to work. I really need to get an actual jack. You know your car is really stiff when the rear wheel comes up when you're jacking the front. We already messed up. So, I forgot to bring a tape measure to measure how much I need to drop the coils. But beyond that, I forgot to just measure before I took the wheel off. So, I don't know how much I need to drop them. I'm going to I'm going to drop them three quarters of an inch. Now, I don't know how I'm going to figure out how much three quarters of an inch actually is, but we're going to drop them three quarters of an inch. That's the goal. Uh, yeah, stay tuned and find out how Michael figures out how much three quarters, and quarters of an inch is without actually measuring anything. All right, so the wheel's off. Here are the coils, they are ISC coilovers with, I think, the race or track dampen, dampening setting. So they still have 32-way adjustable dampening like in the hood, um, but they're just all stiffer than the other options. Um, so yeah, we need to break this bolt loose. It's not a bolt, it's a ring or whatever. We need to break it loose before we undo it that way we have something, I don't know, when I was putting them on, the dude was like multiple times like shit, should have broken it loose before I took them off, so we we're going to break them loose first. Um, and to be honest, I don't know how much to raise it. I want to say maybe that much, maybe less, maybe more, I don't know. We, it, it could be trial and error, so like, we could basically drop it a bit see how we like it. If it's too low, raise it. If it's too high, lower it. But let's hope that it's just perfect the first time because that'd be tight. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is break this lower ring loose. I hope that's not too difficult. Nice, that was easy. Okay, that's good. Um, now I'm gonna take off these two bolts, which are 19s, I believe, and then take off the brake line and the ABS line, which I think are 12s. All right, so we're gonna hit it with some WD-40 first, just to, I mean, they've only been on for like a week, but just to make it a little bit easier, we'll spray these. I don't know about you guys, but I kind of dig the smell of this stuff. It's pretty good. First one's loose, that wasn't too bad. Time for the second one. 
know, I don't know how I want to do this because the breaker bar is too long, but this is like kind of short, so. All right, got them both broken. Um, now we get to use the mallet to get the bolts out. Um, actually, no, 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 wait, brake lines. I don't want this hub pulling all its weight on these brake lines, so I gotta make sure I disconnect those first. And then we mallet. All right, so all the lines are off, all the bolts are out, uh, mallet time. Nice. Second bolt, done. All the bolts are out. We're ready to raise this coil. Um, hold on, let me put it back down all the way. So that's stock height. If I want to raise it, hold on. Solution. All right, so earlier I mentioned I wanted to raise it three quarters of an inch, but I also mentioned I didn't bring a tape measure and had no other way of measuring three quarters of an inch. Well, this socket right here, ah, uh, there we go. All right, so this socket, three quarters of an inch. So I'm just gonna take basically this socket and see if I can fit it through the ring and the strut. Strut, strut, whatever and that will give me roughly three quarters of an inch. The best tools are the one you have, but I could have brought a tape measure, it's sitting on my desk, I know. <sighs> All right, so that was actually pretty easy. That's about three quarters of an inch. So we are going to wind this up, tighten it down, and put everything back together. Drop the car, and then see where we sit either change it or just assume it's good and do the other side. All right, so I got the strut, whatever this bottom piece is, all the way up, pretty much all the way up. So we're gonna put this all together, tighten it down, drop it, and see how it sits. I already said that, but like, I said it again, so just in case you missed it the first time, that's the plan. I'll see you when the car is back on the ground. All right, this height is much better. But like, that's good. It's pretty even with the back here. So the back's ah, a little tight. We dropped like a whole finger. So, I mean, there's a finger three quarters of an inch. That looks good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and then we will close out the video because they're the same. I don't need to show you twice. Finished the other side and they're both even, and they both look great, so that's cool. And then I also maxed out the camber on the camber plates. Um, to be honest, it's not even that much. I don't know how much it is, but I'm gonna get an alignment probably sometime this week. And I think I'm gonna ask for negative two degrees, because I've read that that's pretty good um, as far as handling goes, so we're gonna go with that. So I just max it out, just, just cause. And to be honest, it's not a huge difference. Like, if we look from over here, like it's not even, focus on that though. See, it's like not even that much camber. But it looks cool, I'm digging it. But yeah, I'm digging it. If I like, am having any rubbing, I'll probably come back and do it again, to be honest. It only took maybe like an hour and a half and I was kind of, I don't know, I wasn't super productive, um, but overall, it's actually sitting pretty easy. The front might actually be a bit lower than the back, now that I'm looking at it. Front, back, they're pretty close, they're pretty close finished off the coilovers. I'm going to do a review of the coilovers and sway bars soon, sometime. We're going to go drive up the canyon. I've already done it and it's super fun. Um, handles it way better than it used to, but we're going to do that, so stay tuned for that. Uh, Halo and LED upgrade, or HID upgrade, I don't know.
that's going to come. So we're going to be doing redoing the headlights, getting rid of the blue, putting in some halos, some HIDs, and then I have some LED interior lights that we're going to put on. Um, and that's all I planned, but I did just buy another car, so we'll be upgrading that soon. I don't know what I want to do yet, but it's going to happen. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.